welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a recipe for the most juicy delicious and flavorful meatloaf once you've tried this recipe trust me you'll be hooked to get started here i have some ground lamb and ground beef uh, i have about three pounds one pound of lamb two pounds of ground beef i have some ketchup barbecue sauce w sauce i'll be using some breadcrumbs eggs mustard for the seasonings i have black pepper steak seasoning uh complete seasoning chicken bouillon garlic and onion powder seasoned salt smoked paprika and here i have some fresh green seasoning i'll show you guys how i made this in just a minute so let me show you guys how i created the wet green seasoning here i have some onions ginger garlic i have hot peppers and bell peppers i'll be using some thyme green onions basil i have parsley also and i have some oil to help with the blending process basically what i did was added everything to my food processor and i just you know blend it up nice and chunky you want a nice chunky consistency because it's just better when you're seasoning your meatloaf and this is what sets that meatloaf apart this fresh seasoning that i made next you want to add all of the ingredients to the meat mix until well combined and let it sit and marinate for about two hours you want to always let your meat rest but if you don't have the time you can actually cook this right away because it's so very well seasoned you know you can actually cook it right away and it will still be amazing Next, you want to place your meat into whatever pan or dish you want to bake it in. And if you want to use a loaf pan, you can go ahead and do just that. I will form this into a loaf-like shape. And then I'll show you guys the next step. So once your meat is all set and you've formed it into whatever shape you desire, we will now place this in a 375 degree oven and allow it to cook for about one hour because I'm using three pounds of meat, it will take about an hour to cook. So while our meatloaf is in the oven, let's go ahead and make that sauce that we will glaze it with. Here I have some ketchup, barbecue sauce, I have hot sauce, some mustard, I'll be using some brown sugar and I have here some cayenne pepper. What you want to do is just combine all of the ingredients, mix well and set aside. So after about one hour, this is how our meatloaf is looking. It is fully cooked at this point. So now we'll go ahead and just drizzle that glaze over top. We'll drizzle a generous amount, make sure it's covered nicely. And then we'll place it back into the oven for about three to five minutes. This time we'll set our oven on boil and allow that sauce to caramelize and brown up nicely. And this is the meatloaf after about one hour and five minutes. It smells absolutely amazing up in my kitchen, but I could not get that sauce to stick on the sides of the meatloaf. As you can see right there, the juices are just oozing and it was removing all of that sauce. 
But I said, you know what? That's exactly what you want. You want your meatloaf to be juicy, moist, and flavorful. You don't want it dry. Now, you want to allow this to rest for about 15 to 20 minutes before slicing into it. And I did serve this up with some potato casserole and roasted Brussels sprouts. And let me tell you, it was a hit in my home. My family came back for seconds and thirds, as you can see right there. It's just a juicy meatloaf and it was absolutely amazing i can't wait for you guys to give this recipe a try if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up share it leave a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me i will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box and i'll see you guys in my next video have a good day and enjoy